Glory be to Jesus Christ, glory forever. We are gathering this evening for the royal hours in preparation for the Feast of Theophany, so we're glad that you have joined us. Please pray together with us, and I want to thank, as we begin, uh, all of those who are taking uh, active role in the royal hours tonight, uh, the Papa Demetrius family, the Crosby family, uh, the uh, Razine family, uh, and well as being here. So we're glad to have uh, Faithful from St. Alexis joining us as well as our community of Holy Transfiguration. O God, cleanse me, sinner, and have mercy upon me. O God, cleanse me, sinner, and have mercy upon me. O God, cleanse me, sinner, and have mercy upon me. Blessed is our God, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Glory to you, O God. Glory to you. O heavenly King, the Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who is everywhere and fills all things, treasure your blessings and giver of life. Come and abide in us and cleanse us from every impurity and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to ages of ages. Amen. Most Holy Trinity, have mercy on us, Lord, cleanse us from our sins, master pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit in your infirmities for your name's sake. Let have mercy, let have mercy, let have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, 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 glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. Come, let us worship God, our King, come, let us worship and fall down before Christ, our King and our God, come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself, our King and our God. Give ear to my words, O Lord, consider my sign, listen to my cry for help, my King and my God, for to you I pray. In the morning, O oh Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning, I lay my request before you and wait in expectation. You are not a God who takes pleasure in evil. With you, the wicked cannot dwell. The arrogant cannot stand in your presence. You hate all who do wrong. You destroy those who tell lies. Let their sin be seeful men, the Lord of wars. But I, by your great mercy, will come into your house. In reverence, will I bow down toward your holy temple. Lead me, O oh Lord, in your righteousness because of my enemies. Make straight your way before me. Not a word from their mouth can be trusted, their heart is filled with destruction. Their throat is an open grave, with their tongue they speak deceit. Declare them guilty, O God, let their intrigues be their downfall. Banish them for their many sins, for they have rebelled against you. But let all who take refuge in you be glad, let them ever sing for joy. Spread your protection over them, that those who love your name may rejoice in you. The Lord is... Dwelling. He will hide me in the shelter of his tabernacle and set me high upon a rock. 
Then my head will be exalted over the enemies who surround me. At his tabernacle, I will sacrifice with shouts of joy. I will sing and make music to the Lord. Hear my voice when I call the Lord. Be merciful to me and answer me. My heart says of you, seek his face. Your face, Lord, I will seek. Do not hide your face from me. Turn your servant away in anger. You have been my helper. Do not reject me or forsake me, O God, my Savior. Though my father and mother forsake me, the Lord will receive me. Teach me your way, O Lord. Lead me in a straight path because of my oppressors. Do not turn me over to the desire of my foes, for false witnesses rise up against me, breathing up violence. I am still confident of this. I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord. Be strong and take heart and wait for the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and into ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to ages of ages. Amen. The river Jordan was turned back by the mantle of Elisha. After Elijah had been taken up to heaven, the waters were parted in two. And the stream became a dry god. This was truly a type of baptism by which we pass over the stream of life. Christ has shone forth in the Jordan to sanctify the waters. Now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. What shall we call you, O full of grace? Heaven, for from you shone forth the Son of Righteousness. Paradise, for you have budded forth the flower of immortality. Virgin, for you remain undefiled. Pure Mother, for you have held in your arms the Son who is God of all. Beseech him to save our souls. Today the nature of the waters is sanctified, and the Jordan bursts forth, turning back the flood of its streams, seeing the master wash himself. Therefore I will remember you from the land of Jordan and of Hermon. As a man, you came to the river of Christ, a king, hastening to receive the baptism of the servant. At the hands of the forerunner, because of our sins, O oh, good one and lover of man. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. To the voice of one crying in the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord. You came, O Lord, taking the form of a servant, asking for baptism, the being sinless. The waters saw you and were afraid. The forerunner began to tremble and cried, saying, how shall the lamp illuminate the light? How shall the servant lay hands on the master? Sanctify me in the waters, O Savior, who takes away the sins of the world. Wisdom, the Perkimenon, of the prophecy in the fourth tome, the Lord thundered upon many waters. The voice of your thunder was in the heavens. Mm -hmm. The Lord thundered upon many waters. The voice of the thunder was in your heavens. I will love you, O Lord, my strength. The Lord is my firm foundation, my refuge, and my deliverer. The Lord thundered upon many waters. The voice of your thunder was in the heavens. The Lord thundered upon many waters. The voice of your thunder was in the heavens. 
wisdom. The reading is from the prophet, prophet Isaiah. Let us be attentive. The desert and the parched land will be glad. The wilderness will rejoice and blossom. Like a crocus, it will burst into bloom. It will rejoice greatly and shout for joy. The glory of Lebanon will be given to it. The splendor of Carmel and Sharon. They will see the glory of the Lord and the splendor of our God. Strengthen the feeble hands. Steady the knee that give way. Say to those with fearful hearts, be strong, do not fear. Your God will come, he will come with vengeance. With divine retribution, he will come to save you. Then will the eyes of the blind be opened and the ears of the deaf unstopped. Then will the lame leap like a deer and the mute tongue shout for joy. Water will gush forth in the wilderness and streams in the desert. The burning sand will become a pool and the thirsty ground bubbling springs. In the haunts where jackals once lay, Grass and reeds and papyrus will grow, and a highway will be there. It will be called the way of holiness. The unclean will not journey on it. It will be for those who walk in that way. Wicked fools will not go about on it. No lion will be there, nor will any ferocious beast get up on it. They will not be found there, but only the redeemed will walk there, and the ransomed of the Lord will return. They will enter Zion with singing. Everlasting joy will crown their heads. Gladness and joy will overtake them. And sorrow and sighing will flee away. Wisdom, the reading is from the Acts of the Holy Apostles. Let us be attentive. At that time, as John was completing his work, he said, Who do you think I am? I am not that one. No, but he is coming after me. Whose sandals I am not worthy to untie. Brother, brothers, children of Abraham, and, and you, God-fearing Gentiles, it is to us that this message of salvation has been sent. The people of Jerusalem and their rulers did not recognize Jesus, yet in condemning him they fulfilled the words of the prophets that are read every Sabbath. Though they found no proper ground for a death sentence, they asked Pilate to have him executed. When they had carried out all that was written about him, they took him down from the tree and laid him in a tomb. But God raised him from the dead, and for many days he was seen by those who had traveled with him from Galilee to Jerusalem. They are now his witnesses to our people. We tell you the good news, what God promised our fathers. He has fulfilled for us their children by raising up Jesus. As it is written in the second psalm, you are my son, today I have be become your father. And that we may be accounted worthy of listening to the Holy Gospel, let us pray to the Lord our God. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. We some let us attend, let us listen to the Holy Gospel. Peace be unto all. And to your spirit. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, Lord, glory to you. Let us be attentive. In those days John the Baptist came preaching in the wilderness of Judea and saying, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. For this is he who was spoken of by the prophet Isaiah, saying, the voice of one crying in the wilderness, Prepare the way of the Lord, make his path straight. Now John himself was clothed in camel's hair, with a leather belt around his waist, and his food was locust and wild honey. Then Jerusalem, all Judea, and all the region around the Jordan went out to him and were baptized by him in the Jordan, confessing their sins. But when he saw many of the Pharisees and the Sadducees coming to his baptism, he said to them, Brood of vipers, who warned you to flee from the wrath to come? Therefore bear fruits worthy of repentance, and do not think to say to yourselves, We have Abraham as our father. For I say to you that God is able to raise up children to Abraham from these stones, and even now the axe is laid to the root of the trees. Therefore, every tree which does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance. But he who is coming after me is mightier than I, whose sandals I am not worthy to carry. 
He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. Order my steps near Lord, and so shall no wickedness have dominion over me. Deliver me from the wrongful dealings of men, and so I shall keep your commandments. Show the light of your countenance upon your servant, and teach me your statutes. Let my mouth be filled with your praise, O Lord, that I may sing of your glory and honor all the day long. <laughs> Ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. Ascribe to the Lord the glory due his name. Worship the Lord in the splendor of his holiness. The voice of the Lord is over the waters. The God of glory thunders. The Lord thunders over the mighty waters. The voice of the Lord is powerful. The voice of the Lord is majestic. The voice of the Lord breaks the cedars. The Lord breaks in pieces the cedars of Lebanon. He makes Lebanon skip like a calf, Syrian like a young wild ox. The voice of the Lord strikes with flashes of lightning. The voice of the Lord shakes the desert. The Lord shakes the desert of Kadesh. The voice of the Lord twists the oaks and strips the forests bare. And in his temple all cry glory. The Lord sits enthroned over the flood. The Lord is enthroned as king forever. The Lord gives strength to his people. The Lord blesses his people with peace. As the deer pants for streams of water, so my soul pants for you, O God. My soul thirsts for God, for the living God. When can I go and meet with God? My tears have been my food day and night, while men say to me all day long, Where is your God? These things I remember as I pour out my soul, how I used to go with the multitude, leading the procession to the house of God, with shouts of joy and thanksgiving among the festive throng. Why are you downcast, O my soul? Why so disturbed within me? Put your hope in God, for I will yet praise him, my Savior and my God. My soul is downcast within me, therefore I will remember you from the land of, jo of the Jordan, the heights of Hermon, from Mount Mizar. Deep calls to deep in the roar of your waterfalls, all your waves and breakers have swept over me. By day the Lord directs his love, at night his song is with me, a prayer to the God of my life. I say to God, my rock, why have you forgotten me? Why must I go about mourning, oppressed by the enemy? My bones suffer mortal agony as my foes, foes taunt me, saying to me all day long, Where is your God? Why are you downcast, O my soul? Why so disturbed within me? Put your hope in God, for I will yet praise him, my Savior and my God. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your unfailing love, according to your great compassion, blot out my transgressions. Wash away all my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin, for I know my transgressions and my sin is always before me. Against you, you only have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight, so that you are proved right when you speak and justified when you judge. Surely I was sinful at birth, sinful from the time my mother conceived me. Surely you desire truth in the inner parts, you teach me wisdom in the inmost place. Cleanse me with this, and I will be clean. Wash me, and I will be whiter than snow. Let me hear joy and gladness, let the bones you have crushed rejoice. Hide your face from my sins, and blot out all my iniquity. Create in me a pure heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me from your presence, or take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and grant me a willing spirit to sustain me. Then I will teach transgressors your ways, and sinners will turn back to you. Save me from blood guilt, O God, the God who saves me, and my tongue will sing of your righteousness. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. You do not delight in sacrifice, or I would bring it. You do not take pleasure in burnt offerings. The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart, O God, you will not despise. In your good pleasure, make Zion prosper, build up the walls of Jerusalem. Then there will be righteous sacrifices, whole burnt offerings to delight you. Then bulls will be offered on your altar. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. 
You are the true vine, laden with the fruit of life. We pray to you, O Lady, intercede together with the apostles and all the saints, that mercy may be granted to our souls. <laughs> Prophet honored above all the prophets, trembled as he beheld you, the Lamb of God, who cleansed the sins of the world. Seized with anxiety, he cried out, I dare not touch your head or word, but in your mercy sanctify and enlighten me. For you are the life and the light and the peace of the world. The waters saw you, O God, the waters saw you and were afraid. <laughs> the Trinity, our God, has today made itself indivisibly manifest. For the Father in a loud voice bore clear witness to his Son. The Spirit in the form of a dove descended from above, while the Son bent his pure head before the forerunner, and in receiving baptism he delivered us from bondage in his love for mankind. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. In the flesh you came to the Jordan, O river of life. In your desire to receive baptism, O Lord, to enlighten us who were gone astray, delivering us in your compassion from every delusion and snare of the dragon. Then the Father bore witness to you, and the Divine Spirit in the form of a dove descended upon you. Make your dwelling in our souls, O Lover of men. Wisdom, the procuna, the prophecy in the sixth tone, the water saw you, O God, the water saw you and were afraid. The water saw you, O God, the water saw you and were afraid. The voice of the Lord is upon the waters, the God of glory thunders, the Lord is upon the waters. The water saw you, O God. The water saw you and were afraid. The water saw you, O God. The water saw you and were afraid. Wisdom. reading from the Acts of the Holy, oh, sorry, the reading from the prophet Isaiah. Let us be attentive. Hear the word of the Lord, wash and make yourselves clean, take your evil deeds out of my sight, stop doing wrong, learn to do right, seek justice, encourage the oppressed, defend the cause of the fatherless, plead the case of the widow. Come now, let us reason together, says the Lord. Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they are red as crimson, they shall be like wool. If you are willing and obedient, you will eat the best from the land. But if you resist and rebel, you will be devoured by the sword. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. 
Wisdom, the reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Let us be attentive. At that time, Paul took a road through the interior and arrived at Ephesus. There he found some disciples and asked them, Did you receive the Holy Spirit when you believed? They answered, No, we have not even heard that there is a Holy Spirit. So Paul asked, Then what baptism did you receive? John's baptism, they replied. Paul said, John's baptism was a baptism of repentance. He told the people to believe in the one coming after him, that is, in Jesus. On hearing this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. When Paul placed his hands on them, the Holy Spirit came on them, and they spoke in tongues and prophesied. There were about twelve men in all. Paul entered the synagogue and spoke boldly there for three months, arguing persuasively about the kingdom of God. And that we may be accounted worthy of listening to the Holy Gospel, let us pray to the Lord our God. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Wisdom, let us attend, let us listen to the Holy Gospel. Peace be unto all. And to your spirit. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Glory to you, Lord, glory to you. Let us be attentive. The beginning of the gospel of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. It is written in Isaiah the prophet, I will send my messenger ahead of you who will prepare your way. A voice of one calling in the desert, prepare the way of the Lord, make straight paths for him. And John came baptizing in the desert region and preaching a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. The whole Judean countryside and all the people of Jerusalem went out to him. Confessing their sins, they were baptized by him in the Jordan River. John wore clothing made of camel's hair with a leather belt around his waist, and he ate locusts and wild honey. And this was his message, After me will come one more powerful than I, the thong of whose sandals I am not worthy to stoop down and untie. I baptize you with water, but he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. Glory to Blessed be the Lord God, blessed be the Lord from day to day, and may the God of our salvation prosper us, for he is our God, the God of salvation. Today the Lord appears in the Jordan and cries to John, Do not be afraid to baptize me. I have come to say that I'm the first formed man. Why have you rejected us forever, O God? Why does your anger smolder against the sheep of your pasture? Remember the people you purchased of old, the tribe of your inheritance, whom you redeemed, Mount Zion, where you dwelt. Turn your steps toward these everlasting ruins, all this destruction the enemy has brought on the sanctuary. Your foes roared in the place where you met with us. They set up their standards as signs. They behaved like men wielding axes to cut through a thicket of trees. They smashed all the card paneling with their axes and hatchets. They burned your sanctuary to the ground. They defiled the dwelling place of your name. They said in their hearts, we will crush them completely. They burned every place where God was worshipped in the land. We are given no miraculous signs, no prophets are left, and none of us knows how long this will be. How long will the enemy mock you, O God? Will the foe revile your name forever? Why do you hold back your hand, your right hand? Take it from the folds of your garment and destroy them. But you, O God, are my king from of old. You bring salvation upon the earth. It was you who split open the sea by your power. You broke the heads of the monster in the waters. It was you who crushed the heads of Leviathan and gave him his food to the creatures of the desert. It was you who opened up springs and streams. You dried up the ever-flowing rivers. The day is yours and yours also the night. You established the sun and moon. It was you who set all the boundaries of the earth. You made both summer and winter. 
Lord. Remember how the enemy has mocked you, O Lord, how foolish people have reviled your name. Do not hand over the life of your dove to wild beasts. Do not forget the lives of your afflicted people forever. Have regard for your covenant, because haunts of violence fill the dark places of the land. Do not let the oppressed retreat in disgrace. May the poor and needy praise your name. Rise up, O God, and defend your cause. Remember how fools mock you all day long. Do not ignore the clamor of your adversaries, the uproar of your enemies, which rises continually. I cried out to God for help. I cried out to God to hear me. When I was in distress, I sought the Lord. At night, I stretched out untiring hands, and my soul refused to be comforted. I remembered you, O oh God, and I groaned, I mused, and my spirit grew faint. You kept my eyes from closing. I was too troubled to speak. I thought about the former days, the years of long ago. I remembered my songs in the night. My heart mused, and my spirit inquired, Will the Lord reject for me forever? Will he never show his favor again? Has his unfailing love vanished forever? Has his promise failed for all time? Has God forgotten to be merciful? Has he in anger withheld his compassion? Then I thought, to this I will appeal, the years of the right hand of the Most High. I will remember the deeds of the Lord. Yes, I will remember your miracles of long ago. I will meditate on all your works and consider your mighty deeds. Your ways, O God, are holy. What God is so great as our God? You are the God who performs miracles. You display your power among the peoples. With your mighty arm, you redeemed your people, the descendants of Jacob and Joseph. The waters saw you, O God. The waters saw you and writhed. The very depths were convulsed. The clouds poured down water. The skies resounded with thunder. Your arrows flashed back and forth. Your thunder was heard in the whirlwind. Your lightning lit up the world. The earth trembled and quaked. Your path led through the sea, your way through the mighty waters, though your footprints were not seen. You led your people like a flock by the hand of Moses and Aaron. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Surely He will save you from the fowler snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with His feathers, and under His wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. You will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only observe with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. If you make the most high your dwelling, even the Lord with my refuge, then no harm will befall you, no disaster will come near your tent. For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all their ways in all your ways. They will lift you up in their hands so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. You will tread upon the lion and the cobra, you will trample the great lion and the serpent. Because he loves me, says the Lord, I will rescue him. I will protect him, for he acknowledges my name. He will call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and so show him my salvation. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and into ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O Lord, we pray, Jordan was turned back by the mantle of Elisha. After Elijah had been taken up to heaven, the waters were parted in two, and the stream became a dry path. This was truly a type of baptism by which we pass over the stream of life. Christ has shed forth in the Jordan to sanctify the waters. Now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. We have no boldness because of the multitude of our sins. But entreat him who was born of you, O virgin Theotokos. 
for the prayer of a mother has great power to win the favor of the master. Do not despise the supplications of sinners, O all pure one, for merciful and strong to save is he who will to suffer for us. The Lord spoke to John and said, O prophet, come and baptize me, your creator, for by grace I enlighten and cleanse all men. Touch my divine head and do not doubt, O prophet, let it be so now, for I have come to fulfill all righteousness. Do not have any doubt at all, for I hasten to slay the enemy, the prince of darkness hidden in the waters, that I may now deliver the world from his snares, granting eternal life in my love for mankind. Therefore I will remember you from the land of Jordan and of Hermon. Today the prophecy of the Psalms swiftly approaches its fulfillment. Thus he looked and fled. Jordan was driven back before the face of the Lord, before the face of the God of Jacob. He came to receive baptism from his servant, so that our souls washed clean from the defilement of idolatry might be enlightened through him. <clears throat> In the fifth tone, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O Jordan, why do you turn back your waters? Why do you stop your streams? Why do you no longer flow in your natural course? I cannot bear the fire that consumes me, he said. Before his great condescension I am filled with wonder and dread. For I am not used to washing one who is clean. I have learned to cleanse filthy vessels, but not to bathe the sinless. Christ, who is baptized in me, teaches me to burn the thorns of sin. John, the voice of the word, bears witness with me and cries, Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Let us, the faithful, cry aloud to him. O God, you are manifest for our salvation. Glory to you. Wisdom, the procurement out of the prophecy in the foretold. The voice of the Lord is over the waters. The God of glory thunders, the Lord thunders over the mighty waters. The voice of the Lord is upon the waters. The God of glory thundered. The Lord is upon many waters. Thank the Lord, O sons of God, bring young rams to the Lord. The voice of the Lord is upon the waters. The God of glory thundered. The Lord is upon many waters. The voice of the Lord is over the water. The God of glory thundered. The Lord is upon many waters. The reading from the prophet Isaiah. With joy you will draw water from the well of salvation. In that day you will say, give thanks to the Lord, call on his name. Make known among the nations what he has done, and proclaim that his name is exalted. Sing to the Lord, for he has done glorious things. Let this be known to all the world. Shout aloud and sing for joy, people of Zion. For great is the Holy One of Israel among you. This, um, the reading is from the epistle of the Holy Apostle Paul to the Romans. Let us be attentive. Brethren, 
Don't you know that all of us were baptized into Christ Jesus, were baptized into his death? We were therefore buried with him through baptism into death, in order that just as Christ was raised from the dead through the glory of the Father, we too may live a new life. If we have been united with him like this in his death, we will certainly also be united with him in his resurrection. We know that our old self was crucified with him, so that the body of sin might be done away with, that we should no longer be slaves to sin, because anyone who has died has been freed from sin. Now, if we died with Christ, we believe that we will also live with him. For we know that since Christ was raised from the dead, he cannot die again. Death no longer has mastery over him. In the death he died, he died to sin once and for all. But the life he lives, he lives to God. In the same way, count yourselves dead to sin, but alive to God in Christ Jesus. And that we may be accounted worthy of listening to the Holy Gospel, let us pray to the Lord our God. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Wisdom, let us attend, let us listen to the Holy Gospel. Peace be unto all. And to your spirit. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Glory to you, O Lord, glory to you. Let us be attentive. At that time it came to pass that Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptized by John in the Jordan. And immediately coming up from the water, he saw the heavens parting and the Spirit descending upon him like a dove. Then a voice came from heaven, you are my beloved son in whom i am well pleased immediately the spirit drove him into the wilderness and he was there in the wilderness forty days tempted by satan and was with the wild beasts and the angels ministered to him now after john was put in prison jesus came to galilee preaching the gospel of the kingdom of god and saying the time is fulfilled and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. Glory to Let your tender mercies, O Lord, speedily go before us, that we have become exceedingly poor. Help us, O God, of our salvation, for the glory of your name, O Lord. Deliver us and purge away our sins for your name's sake. Today, the Lord appears in the Jordan and cries to John, and the Lord Jesus Christ appears in the wilderness of Galilee, preaching the gospel of the kingdom of God and saying, He is robed in majesty, the Lord is robed in majesty and is armed with strength. The world is firmly established, it cannot be moved. Your throne was established long ago, you are from all eternity. The seas have lifted up, O Lord, the seas have lifted up their voice, the seas have lifted up their pounding waves. Mightier than the thunder of the great waters, mightier than the breakers of the sea, the Lord on high is mighty. Your statutes stand firm, holiness adorns your house for endless days, O Lord. When Israel came out of Egypt, the house of Jacob from a people of foreign tongue, Judah became God's sanctuary, Israel his dominion. The sea looked and fled, the Jordan turned back, the mountains skipped like rams, the hills like lambs. Why was it, O sea, that you fled, O Jordan, that you turned back, you mountains that you skipped like rams, you hills like lambs? Tremble, O earth, at the presence of the Lord, at the presence of the God of Jacob, who turned the rock into a pool, the hard rock into springs of water. Hear, O Lord, and answer me, for I am poor and needy. Guard my life, for I am devoted to you. You are my God, save your servant who trusts in you. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for I call to you all day long. Bring joy to your servant, for to you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. You are forgiving and good, O Lord, abounding in love to all who call to you. Hear my prayer, O Lord, listen to my cry for mercy. In the day of my trouble I will call to you, for you will answer me. Among the gods there is none like you, O Lord, no deeds can compare with yours. All the nations you have made will come and worship before you, O Lord, they will bring glory to your name. For you are great and do marvelous deeds, you alone are God. 
Teach me your way, O Lord, and I will walk in your truth. Give me an undivided heart that I may fear your name. I will praise you, O Lord, my God, with all my heart. I will glorify your name forever. For great is your love toward me. You have delivered me from the depths of the grave. The arrogant are attacking me, O God. A band of ruthless men seeks my life. Men without regard for you. But you, O Lord, are a compassionate and gracious God, slow to anger, abounding in love and faithfulness. Turn to me and have mercy on me. Grant your strength to your servant and save the son of your maidservant. Give me a sign of your goodness that my enemies may see it and be put to shame. For you, O Lord, have helped me and comforted me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The river Jordan was turned back by the mantle of Elisha. After Elijah had been taken up to heaven, the waters were parted in two, and the stream became a dry path. This was truly a type of baptism by which we pass over the stream of life. Christ has shone forth in the Jordan to sanctify the waters. Now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. O loving Lord, who for our sake was born of a virgin and has suffered crucifixion, trampling down death by death, and as God revealing the resurrection, despise not the work of your hands, but show your love for mankind, O merciful one. Accept the prayers made on our behalf by her who gave you birth, and save your despairing people, O our Savior. It was a most strange wonder to see the maker of heaven and earth stand naked in the Stretch out this hand for him. 
wisdom, the pure land of the prophecy in the third tone. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is my light and my Savior. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the defender of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? The Lord said to my light and my Savior, whom shall I fear? The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? Wisdom. The reading from the prophet Isaiah. Let us be attentive. This is what the Lord says. In the time of my favor, I will answer you. And in the day of salvation, I will help you. I will keep you and will make you to be a covenant for the people to restore the land and to reassign its desolate inheritances, to say to the captives, come out, and to those in darkness, be free. They will feed beside the roads and find pasture on every barren hill. They will neither hunger nor thirst, nor will the desert heat or the sun beat upon them. He who has compassion on them will guide them and lead them beside springs of water. I will turn all my mountains into roads, and my highways will be raised up. See, they will come from afar, some from the north, some from the west, some from the region of Aswan. Shout for joy, O heavens, rejoice, O earth. Burst into song, O mountains. For the Lord comforts his people and will have compassion on his afflicted ones. But Zion said, The Lord has forsaken me, the Lord has forgotten me. Can a mother forget the baby at her breast and have no compassion on the child she has born? Though she may forget, I will not forget you. Wisdom, the reading from the epistle of the Holy Apostle Paul to Titus. Let us be attentive. My son Titus, the grace of God that brings salvation has appeared to all men. It teaches us to say, no to ungodliness and worldly passions and to live self-controlled upright and godly lives in this present age while we wait for the blessed hope the glorious appearing of our great god and savior jesus christ who gave himself for us to redeem us from all wickedness and to purify for himself a people that are his own very own eager to do what is good but when the kindness and love of god our savior appeared he saved us, not because of righteous things we had done, but because of his mercy. He saved us through the washing of rebirth and renewal by the Holy Spirit, whom he poured out on us generously through Jesus Christ, our Savior, so that having been justified by his grace, we might become heirs, having the hope of eternal life. Peace be unto all who have read. And that we may be accounted worthy of listening to the Holy Gospel, let us pray to the Lord our God. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Wisdom, let us attend, let us listen to the Holy Gospel. Peace be unto all. And to your spirit. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, Lord, glory to you. Let us be attentive. At that time, Jesus came from Galilee to John at the Jordan to be baptized by him. And John tried to prevent him, saying, I need to be baptized by you, and are you coming to me? But Jesus answered and said to him, Permit it to be so now. For thus it is fitting for us to fulfill all righteousness. Then he allowed this. When he had been baptized, Jesus came up immediately from the water. And behold, the heavens were open to him. And he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and alighting upon him. And suddenly a voice came from heaven saying, This is my beloved Son, in whom... I am well pleased. Glory to you, Lord, glory to you. Do not forsake us to the end for your name's sake. Do not turn away from your covenant. Take not your mercies from us for the sake of Abraham, whom you love. 
And for the sake of Isaac, your servant, and of Israel, your holy one. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Today the Lord appears in the Jordan and cries to John, Do not be afraid to baptize me. I have come to say that in the first born again. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. You would have received Season and every hour in heaven and on earth are worshipped and glorified, O Christ our God, who are long suffering, merciful, and compassionate, who loves the just and shows mercy on the sinner, who calls out to salvation through the promise of blessings to come. O Lord, in this hour, receive our supplications and direct our lives according to your commandments. Sanctify our souls, hallow our bodies, correct our thoughts, cleanse our minds, deliver us from all tribulations, evil, and distress. Compass us about with your holy angels that guided and guarded by them. We may attain to the unity of the faith and to the knowledge of your unapproachable glory. For you are blessed unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Without defilement you gave birth to God the word. Truth, Iotokos, we magnify you. In the name of the Lord, Father, bless. God, be bountiful unto us and bless us and show the light of your countenance and be merciful unto us. Amen, O Master and Lord Jesus Christ, our God, who are long-suffering towards our sins and has brought us even to this present hour, in which, hanging upon the life-giving cross, you open to the good thief the way into paradise and destroy death by death. Be merciful to us, your humble and sinful and unworthy servants, for we have sinned and transgressed, and we are not worthy to live up our eyes and look at the height of heaven since we have forsaken the path of your righteousness and have walked according to the desires of our own hearts but we pray you out of your boundless goodness spare us O lord according to the abundance of your mercy and save us for your holy name's sake for our days are consumed in vanity deliver us from the hand of the adversary forgive us our sins and extinguish the passions of the flesh that putting off the old man we may be clothed with the new and may live for you our master and protector and that so following your ordinances we may attain to eternal rest in the place where all the joyful dwell for you o christ our god are indeed the true joy and gladness of those that love you and to you we send up glory together with your father who is without beginning and your most holy good and life creating spirit now and ever and unto ages of ages amen glory to you o christ our god and our sure hope glory to you Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Father, bless. May Christ, our true God, through the prayers of his most pure mother, of the honorable, glorious prophet, forerunner, and Baptist John, of our holy, glorious, and laudable apostles, and of all the saints, have mercy on us, and save us, for he is good, and loves mankind. Amen. Again, we thank all who participated in this royal hour service this evening that uh, just kind of slows time down to look at the various points of this feast in more detail and in greater depth. And I thank all who participated by singing, by chanting, by reading, 
uh, wonderful celebration. And I think in particular, uh, Susan and Maria singing the uh, version of the Glory Now and Ever from the Ninth Hour. Uh, with your hand, you touch the immaculate head of the Master. Uh, this comes to us from the Holy Transfiguration Monastery and uses the same melody that we remember from Holy Week. Joseph, together with Nicodemus, taking down the body of our Lord and laying it in a tomb. Well, with the same, again, this is how the monastic communities see this greater depth. Uh, with the same kind of focus in this Kiran, it's uh, like an observer calling attention to what has happened. So with your hand, you touch the immaculate head of the master and pointing, you have shown him to us. Stretch out that same hand over him, O Baptist, on our behalf, for you have great boldness before him. Lift up those eyes toward him, O Baptist, and let it be merciful to us. Come and stand with us. So brothers and sisters, may we stand in expectation of the moment of the baptism of our Lord Jesus Christ by John the Baptist in the Jordan River on the feast itself. We have this glimpse today, this look, this in-depth look of preparation. May we look forward with great anticipation to the celebration of the feast. So we will be celebrating tomorrow evening uh, the Vespers with 13 Old Testament readings uh, and epistle and gospel. And so we look forward to celebrating in a similar manner to how we celebrated the Nativity Feast. Again, we are glad to have St. Alexis community uh, joining us for this feast. Uh, and we look forward to the celebration tomorrow evening and Divine Liturgy on Wednesday morning at nine o'clock uh, at church. May God bless and be with you, and may we look forward again with great anticipation to this feast of the beginning of our Lord's ministry, the beginning of all of his earthly steps in ministry with his disciples and with all of us. May we seek to stand with our John the Baptist on this day. God bless and be with you. Thank you.